Hello, I'm Daniela Heaney. I'm Stevie Rome. And I'm Eric Turner. And we are here today to discuss the many different types of emergency drills students practice here at Morris Hills. We do this to make every effort to keep our school safe, and it is also a state law. We have these drills several times per year. There are four types of drills, each with a specific set of instructions that we must follow. The first type is evacuation drill, formerly known as a fire drill. The signal for the evacuation drill will be the sound of the fire alarm. All teachers are to take their attendance and grade lists with them and their classes, which must remain together. All teachers are to lock the doors and windows and lead their class into a single file to the designated staging area. Students must remain quiet and form two single lines down the stairwells. The staging areas are as follows. Number one, student parking lot. Number two, behind the bus garage leading up to Gifford Stadium. Number three, bus driver's parking lot. And number four, Arbor Ave. The designated area is posted in each classroom. Once at the appropriate location, teachers are to take attendance. Teachers are to then deliver the attendance sheets to the staff assistant assigned to their staging area. If you are not in your classroom at the time of the alarm, go with the nearest class to the staging area and ask the teacher to add you or him, uh, you to his or her attendance list. The second type of drill is the modified lockdown or shelter in place drill. The signal for this type of drill will be an announcement made over the public address system. All students and personnel to exit the hallways and all teachers should lock and close their doors immediately and do the same with the windows. They should not cover the classroom door window and they should continue teaching their class, their lessons. <laughs> At this point, no one is allowed to leave the classrooms and teachers should make a list of all students out on a pass. However, if members of the police department or administration knock on the door, teachers should allow them to enter. If you are out on a pass, you should enter the nearest classroom or office and stay there until the lockdown drill is over. If a student or staff member needs to leave the room for an emergency, teachers should call the general office and administrator will escort the person out of the room. Teachers should ignore all bells instructions. Ignore all bells. Instructions will come only via the PA system. Third type of drill is a full lockdown drill. A lockdown announcement will be used only in the event of an armed or dangerous person is seen on campus. It is extremely important that you respond immediately and appropriately to this alarm. Teachers should immediately lock the classroom door and turn out the lights. They should cover their classroom door window by pulling the shade or covering it with paper. Teachers should close and lock all windows and pull down the shades. Everyone should go to the safest part of the room and keep out of sight, especially from all doors and windows. And again, no one is permitted to leave the classroom, and once the door is closed, it may not be opened. Students locked out of their classroom should go to the nearest safe location, such as a bathroom, an open classroom, or Gifford Field. As teachers should ignore all bells because instructions will come via the PA system, the phone, or in person. So teachers should check their phones, place a ringer on the on position. <laughs> Physical education classes in the gyms should use the locker rooms, and PE classes outside the building should immediately move to Gifford Stadium. Teachers should keep the students together in the bleachers on the home, on the home side. If a lockdown occurs during a lunch block, all students and staff in the cafeteria and the adjacent hallways should move to Gifford Stadium and also sit in the bleachers. The last drill we will practice is the bomb scare drill. This is a modified lockdown or a shelter in place drill again. All instructions will be given over the PA system, so all bells should be ignored. Depending on the threat, the administration will decide to evacuate part of the building or the whole school. Therefore, we will go into a modified lockdown, the threat will be assessed, and the necessary evacuations will begin. Thank you for listening today. We hope this information was useful and that it will help you to know what to do in case of a real emergency. For MHTV, I'm Danielle Heaney. I'm Eric Turner. And I'm Stevie Rome. Have a good day.